Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. <laughs> Um, this is what gets put out. This was put out in our mail room the other day. People that don't want stuff just stick it on the table in the mail room. And uh, I took this. I thought, my nephew Tom, he's in his 40s, but he loves Star Wars. So maybe I'll give it to RV Jedi. <laughs> I'll give it to RV Jedi David. He's also a. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah. Hey, RV Jedi David. You want this? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Are we good there? Let's see if we can get this uh, set up here. Oh, no! Anyway, we got a big boomer last night. <clears throat> Heavy rain. And I do smell a very faint, musty smell here in Little Adam this morning. So I think... I think we got a little bit of a water leak last night. It was really like fire hose... Like a fire hose coming down rain last night, so... I don't know. I hate to look. I'll, I'll have to look back in the wheel well back there where the uh, spare tire is because I think we probably have a, a little a little uh, goldfish bowl. Maybe I put some goldfish back there. Have a little goldfish bowl. That would be nice. <laughs> anyway, good morning. Uh, so what's the topic for today? I'd like to talk about the uh, RV Odd Couple. You know, a lot of they're getting a lot of press lately. You know, they are, they are, they are buying a uh, campground there in Alabama, and uh, they are. Uh, you know, we don't we don't see too many nomads. You know, buying campgrounds. We see them staying in campgrounds and stuff like that, but we don't often see them buying campgrounds. So that is what is interesting about that. And then there's a whole lot of issues going on now with campgrounds, the commercialization of campgrounds. You know, a lot of these uh, campgrounds around uh, have been bought out by giant hedge funds and corporations and, you know, uh, investors are getting into it and it's a big thing right now. And anyway, they found this park that had been closed for a couple years. It turns out that as they're now starting to actually get ready to do some of the work on the place, they're coming in, we're, they're, they're coming into some problems with it. One of the problems is, hey, it's been abandoned longer than they thought. You know, they thought it was a couple years. It's actually been abandoned for more than that. And you, even though there are facilities on the property, it's really going to be a lot more work to upgrade everything, you know? Uh, and where are they going to get the money for all that? Now, first of all, they got the money for the purchase of the property, but then it's all this other stuff. You know, you're probably going to have to not maybe tear down some of the buildings. Uh, you know, up they need to be upgraded, obviously, at the very least. Wiring is a big issue. Plumbing is a big issue. Uh, stuff like that. So, you know, it, it, they're running into that and the financing of all that. The problem is to getting the labor and the, and, the, and the stuff. Labor right now is hard to come by because the pandemic and the whole job situation is freaky right at the moment. How do you find plumbers and electricians and stuff like that when they're in short supply? It's hard for just regular people to find plumbers and stuff like that and contractors. And then you've got to decide, okay, do we tear this down or do we renovate it and et cetera, et cetera. So it's going to be interesting to see what they're doing. And I think they're, you know, uh, and you know, the, they're just going to run into more and more problems. Now, the thing is they have this, their, their group there. They have a group of people that they're asking them to come by and check out the campground. I think they're probably kind of in it maybe to, for some people to help out maybe do a, you know, instead of a van build, they're looking to do a campground build. You know, maybe people could donate their time and services and stuff like that for a campground build. Now, that's interesting, because again, I've been covering these nomads for five-ish years now, and I've never seen, a camp let's do a campground build. Hmm. You, know, what, you know, maybe you're, do you have electrical skills? Maybe you could help uh, do some of the wiring. You know, electrical stuff has changed a lot in the last few years. Mold is a big problem there in a lot of the, the structures there at this campground. So, you know, you know, it's a lot of work and I think they, they're kind of realizing it. And then the other thing I think that it's John and Mercedes there, the RV campers. No, no, the RV odd couple. Excuse me, I'm getting my people mixed up. RV odd couple. <clears throat> They're northerners. I think you know. I think he sounds like he's from New England. Okay, I didn't you know. But anyway, uh, they're down in the deep south, <laughs> the deep, the deep south. And they, he, John did say that they kind of everybody everywhere he goes, they like look at him kind of like, where are you? Where are you from? 
<clears throat> uh, you know, it's a foreign, it's a foreign country called Massachusetts or New Hampshire, wherever he's from. You know, whatever. Where are you from? You ain't one of us, are you? <laughs> So anyway, and then of course, you know, making this thing a profitable enterprise, you know, you're putting in an investment, significant investment in purchasing it and in fixing it up. Are you going to get that return on investment? You know, again, you know, next year is camping going to be still a big thing like it was this year, you know, I don't know, I don't know. And then you're going to be competing with all the corporate campgrounds out there, right? You know, what, what, and the question that I also have is why was this campground allowed to get abandoned like that? I mean, obviously it was a family run or a couple owned it or whatever and whatever happened, but it sat there for so long and not, and was not picked up by somebody else. You would have thought that somebody would have said, Hey, there's a, we can get this cheap and for big corporation and we'll fix it up and do whatever. There's a reason why it's, you know, it's like a house. You go buy a house somewhere or you look at a house and it's been sitting on the market for six months. You know, nobody wants to buy it, you know, even though it's a good price. Why? You know, there's a reason. There's a reason. It's a bad location. It's got mold. It's got problems. Who knows? You know, there's a reason why that house is sitting there. It's just, oh, we just stumbled upon a really inexpensive house, a beautiful lot, a beautiful house for so cheap. Well, and you know, nobody wanted it after six months or a year or something. Why is, why is it still not been sold? You know, with, we, especially in this go-go era where these hedge funds and corporations are looking for campgrounds all over the place. Here's one for the taking, but nobody wanted it. There's got to be a reason. And I'm sure John and Mercedes will find that out. Won't they, though? <laughs> Anyway, I wish them all the best. I, I think they have a nice channel. You know, they do, you know, they do, you know, get into some scrapes here and there with other people at campgrounds. And they do kind of show you the campground life and what that's like. And it's not all a bed of roses, you know. There's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on at campgrounds. And, and you, we all know that. And, uh, you know, but, um, you know, it's an interesting take on the whole issue here. A campground meet, not a campground meetup, a campground build. Let's all get together. You know, come on down and see what you can do. Maybe you can help out. You know, she, he, he has mentioned that, you know, hey, he needs some investment money and some other money to pull in on this and the finances and, you know, group ownership. And then you've got uh, <clears throat> people in the ownership group squabbling with each other over this and that. Uh, I don't know. Has John and Mercedes, have they taken on more than they can chew here? There's a lot of issues going on. There's, you know, issues with regulations today and various, uh, I don't know how much zoning there would be out in the middle of nowhere there. What is it called? Thunder something. Thunder River or something. Thunder something is their campground. It's in northern Alabama. Beautiful countryside. But there's a reason. There's always a reason why that park sat there unattended and unpurchased for so long you know I don't know you know the properties do that people pass away and sometimes houses sit there unattended for a long time while estates are worked out and who knows what so there's reasons why that property was sitting there for so long uh, but and it, it, it does a lot of the stuff dates back to I think the 70s even so and again you know that's gonna be a lot of work to get that up to snuff anyway all our best to John and Mercedes we will keep you updated Vlog under.